Hey, what's going on guys? Going to do another flashlight review. This flashlight review, obviously by the title, is going to be on the uh, Fisher Space Beam. And that is this flashlight right here. Looks like the pen, very similar to the, uh, the Fisher uh, Bullet. Uh, obviously a little bit longer there, but just along the same stylings. Wanted to say the package here just to show you what it looks like. There it is. On the back here we do have a pocket clip that's optional that can slip on. It works the same as the um, uh, you know the pocket clips you get on their pens. Now the first thing I can tell you is that uh, I am really, <laughs> really disappointed in this flashlight. Uh, not every review is going to be awesome. You know, this is so cool, I love it. You know, you should probably get one for yourself, kind of thing. Uh, I actually uh, I test a lot of stuff that I don't like. I don't normally post videos of stuff I don't like because you know it's just I don't know. It's hard. I, I first off, I don't want to offend anyone. I mean, my opinion is just that. It's my opinion. I may say something's totally junk, and someone else may say, "Hey, man, you know, back it up." I like that. That works for me. What's your problem, you know? But um, no, I just uh, this is something I just did not like. But I felt my obligation to all of you good people is to let you know so that you do not waste your money on this either. Um, so anyway. Like I said, Fisher Space Beam. This is a triple A flashlight. It takes one triple A battery. Unscrew here. We'll see that. Triple A battery. Okay. Now we have momentary on by holding the body here and pushing down on the back. Okay. Or, of course, you could screw it down for constant on. Now I have another flashlight in the background here. This is a Dorsey flashlight. Got this at Walmart. Uh, when I first got the flashlights about three years ago, I want to say uh, these were highly recommended for five bucks, you know, four dollars and change. Um, they work great. They're an awesome little light. It has a constant on uh, or the uh, um, momentary on. You know, same as this. Works the exact same way. Or you can screw the head down or the tail cap down for constant on. But anyway, uh, the reason I'm, I broke this one out is because I want to directly compare them. This $5 flashlight, this Dorsey, works so much better for me than this Fisher flashlight on the left. Now this Fisher flashlight costs about $20 most places you find it. Um, just a huge disappointment. Basically the same technology. You have a, a magnifying lens on the end to focus your beam, which I do not like. Now there are some... Uh, there are some exceptions out there. There are some flashlights that actually work great with this setup. But a lot of times when you have cheap ones and you have that magnifying lens, what happens is you get a very limited um, and, and task-specific beam pattern. All right, what happens is you end up getting this. You get a spotlight with no spill whatsoever. Okay? So, what do I mean by that? I mean, you have a, a, a circle of light. In a second, I'll show this on the wall, but you get a circle of light, and anything outside this circle is completely dark. And, and for the most part, it's a pretty narrow circle. Now, I get the exact same effect with this Fisher light, only it's much tighter. Which, to me, I mean, for my purposes of having a flashlight, it serves no purpose for me. It's such a tight light, a tight beam. Here, let me even, let me just give this uh, camera up a little bit and show you an example on the wall here. Turn the light out. All right, here's the face, uh, facer. Yeah, the facer pen. <laughs> the Fisher Space Beam. Let's keep this on constant on. So there's our our beam on the wall there. Okay, right now about three inches away from the wall. As I back up, you can see I'm a, right now about a foot, foot and a half away from the wall. It's such, look at the, the beam next to that that light switch. I right, to give you a, a size comparison there. It's so tight, and even if I come back, this is probably three feet now away from the wall. Look at the beam pattern next to that light switch again. What am I supposed to do with such a tight beam? This is literally like, you know when you see those movies? Um, <laughs> a movie where the scene uh, where they're in jail, and the guy's trying to break out of jail, and he's running against the fence or like some kind of concrete wall, and they put the you know spotlight on him, and let's say this flashlight's the guy. You know, he starts running, boop, 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 and the, the thing's going all over the place, and it stops right here. The, and you literally can't see the guy. He's right next to it, but you can't see him because 
he's outside of the little circle of light, you know. And then it starts moving around again. He starts blah, 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 and he eventually gets away, if it's a good movie anyway. Um, that's, like, what this is. I mean, there's the beam. Right here, pitch black. There's no spill. Completely black. So, again, for my purposes, for having a flashlight such as taking out the garbage, um, getting to my car at night, you know, getting into the house, finding my keys, stuff like that, you know, maybe find something that fell behind the couch where my regular lighting inside just can't reach, you know, I don't, it serves no purpose for me. It's such a tight pattern that, uh, it's not helpful. And, you know, there might be a specific use where this would be great, but I can't think of one right now. If you can, you know, please post a comment. But another thing you're not going to be able to tell from the video is the uh, the hue or tint of the actual beam itself, which uh, I can tell you in person is a very much a bluish purple. I don't like it. Uh, I Even on this Dorsey one, for comparison here, here, first off, you'll see these lights are next to each other right now. You can see how much bigger the Dorsey one is. Again, a $5 flashlight on your right and a $20 flashlight on your left. Um, it's more dispersed. It still has that spotlight effect. But uh, it's definitely a wider beam. It's much better for an area light. Uh, say getting to your, your electrical panel if the power goes out. Something like that. Something that you're most commonly going to need a flashlight for. Uh, with this Fisher one, you're definitely going to be you know, bumping into stuff. It, it doesn't offer a whole lot of light. Uh, it does throw further, which uh, I'll give it that. Yeah, it throws light a little bit further across the room. But uh, as I back up here, you'll see, again, about three feet away from the wall right now. The door stay on the right. The, the beam is at least twice, if not three times, as large. And uh, the fissure, it's a tight beam. I just, I don't see a use for that. Maybe that's just me. But uh, anyway, hopefully, if I back up a little more, you can kind of tell. Eh, you're not really going to be able to tell the colors. But again, the fissure one is very much a purplish blue. And the Dorsey is at least a white or off-white color, which I really like. It's more of a natural light. So, anyway... Um, two flashlights, super cheap. I would expect more out of Fisher. They make such awesome, awesome pens. I think my problem is that my expectations were way too high because I'm so impressed by their pens and uh, some other stuff that they offer that I thought, you know, their flashlight must be awesome. And I strictly, strictly picked this one up because of the Fisher name. Not because I read the specs, not because of what the flashlight was. I just said, you know what? Fisher makes great products. I love their pens. They must make a great flashlight. Well, they should really stick to, you know, continuing to make pens. Their flashlights stink. But that's just me. Um, like I said, if you have uh, an idea for a flashlight that needs such a very tight beam, I just, I really can't think of anything, guys. I mean, maybe like a dentist. If you're looking in someone's mouth, I guess you would have it covered with this light, but, you know, besides that, I just, I don't know. I guess, you know, now that I think of it, maybe a doctor. Maybe a great little pocket flashlight for a doctor if they're looking for something that's kind of cheap. But you think a doctor would be able to afford something better anyway. So, anyway, that's just, uh, that's just what it is. Um, Five dollar flashlight on the right. This one was customized by me. It's, you know, the colors are, it came from, it's kind of like a Frankenstein one. I had two or three of them they put together, and... I put a little glow in the dark uh, O-ring on here, just for fun. Use the other flashlight to charge it right here. But anyway, um, yeah, the Fisher Fisher Space Beam. Wah wah wah. You can't always win them all, can you? So I felt it that it was my duty, my obligation, to tell all you good people out there that if you happen to see this flashlight, do not waste your money. Um, unless, again, you have a specific purpose for a flashlight of its size and its uh, design, and you have a specific need for a very, very small, tight beam with no spill whatsoever. A complete, small, it's like a pocket spotlight. But Anyway, if you have suggestions for uses, please, please share them with me. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. As always, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to do a little video here, demonstration of this at night. I'm inside because you're not going to be able to see anything outside at all, so I'm going to just kind of walk around my computer room, slash office, slash man cave, slash dwelling, <laughs> to uh, show you a couple things. Um, anyway, alright, so here's the Fisher Space Beam. 
against the closet door. You can see there's a little bit of ambient light. I mean, there's a lamp. If I go off to the right of the lamp, you can see just a little bit, but... I mean, obviously, you see there's a very distinct circle. It's like just a disc of light on the wall. There's my strop. I just don't like this at all for a flashlight. I like spill. There's a Zippo case, one of them. Here, let me give you a shot of the Zippo case here. The Zippo case and the... Let me do that again, hopefully it focuses. There we go. Zippo case slash book bookcase area, right? Fisher light. Hang on a second, let me grab my EDC light. Today happens to be the uh, Maritech AAA. See the difference? You see I have a smoother beam, I mean when I'm pointing at the Zippo case you can see the Zippo case clearly but there's plenty of ambient light. It's all around in a circle. You know, you can see most of the bookcase here, it's just I mean, yeah, I'm comparing a cheap light against a more expensive light, but I'm talking about the light pattern in general. So, anyway. Yeah, no, I'm not into that at all. Yeah, so anyway, here, I'm pointing somewhere else now. Here's the American flag. You can see there's the stars, there's the stripes. I don't like this beam pattern whatsoever. Here we go, focus better. I just don't like it. It's just too narrow. Let me step back. I'm all the way across the room. I'm going to say at least at least 10 to 12 feet away now. And it's just it's just barely covering the flag. Now, when I have a flashlight, even a cheap one, and I point it 10 or 12 feet away from a wall, I want to light up at least at least the wall, it doesn't have to be super bright, but I want that to spread out across a larger area. You know, I don't like this just, this spotlight action. I just do not like it. So, anyway, just want to give you a little demonstration there and show you exactly what I was talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Take care.